Previously, we discussed the uh, PDO aerobic black box model and the estimation of its parameters. Such a parameterized black box model gives us the values of CS, QS and QP for different values of mu. However, <coughs> beside mu, QS and QP, there are many other Q rates which are relevant in process design. For example, uh, to quantify the heat removal in the fermenter, we need Q heat. For oxygen supply, we need Q oxygen. For pH control, we need Q proton, etc. The crucial understanding is that you only have to apply conservation principles of elements, charge and energy to obtain all the other Q values from QS, mu and QP, which of course are available from the aerobic black box model. Let us take the herbert pert relation of the PDO black box model, which tells us that the cell needs 0.25 mole glucose to make one mole biomass. This allows us to construct the black box biomass reaction where one mole biomass is produced from 0.25 mole glucose and where the other reactants are the end source, ammonia, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water and proton. Uh, indicated by stoichiometric coefficients uh, A sub n, A sub o, A sub c, A sub uh, w and A sub proton. In a similar way, we can formulate the black box product reaction, where according to the herbert pert relation uh, of the PDO black box model, 0.80 mole glucose is needed to make one mole PDO. The other reactants are oxygen, carbon dioxide, water and proton uh, with uh, stoichiometric coefficients uh, B sub O, B sub C, B sub W and B proton. Note that ammonia is absent because PDO does not contain any hydrogen. The maintenance reaction is the aerobic combustion of one mole glucose. Finally note that the biomass reaction has a rate U, the product reaction has a rate QP and the maintenance reaction has a rate, a rate minus MS, uh, the value of which follows from the herbert pert relation as 0.005 mole glucose per hour per mole biomass, which is present in the fermenter. The unknown stoichiometric coefficients AI and BI in the black box biomass and black box PDO reactions can be calculated from conservation principles, which we will do now. The unknown stoichiometric coefficients, uh, AI in the black box biomass reaction, can be found by setting up conservation relations. And because in the biomass reaction there are four elements, CHON and charge, this means that there are five conservation relations which are exactly needed to calculate the five unknown stoichiometric coefficients, AN, AO, AC, AW and A proton. Let us do the carbon conservation. In the biomass reaction, consumed glucose carbon equals minus 0.25 multiplied with six carbons per glucose. And the consumed carbon is found back in biomass, which is one multiplied by one uh, for the one biomass, and in carbon dioxide, which is AC multiplied by plus one. In a similar way, we can formulate the other element and charge conservation relations uh, from the uh, biomass reaction. Solving these five relations gives us the five unknown stoichiometric coefficients of the black box biomass reaction. And we can do exactly the same for the coefficients Bi of the black box product reaction. In this reaction, we do not have the element nitrogen, as I said, because PDO doesn't contain N. So we now have four conservation relations, which are CHO and charge, leading to four equations and four unknowns, uh, which can be solved. These conservation calculations give the complete stoichiometry for the black box biomass reaction, which runs at the rate mu, the black box PDO reaction, which runs at the rate QP, and the maintenance reaction, which runs at the rate 0.005.
Knowing the stoichiometry uh, of these reactions, we can use the first law of thermodynamics, which is energy conservation, to calculate the produced heat in each reaction, as indicated on the screen. From these black box model reactions, we can formulate now the total set of herbert bird relations by multiplication and addition. Let us consider the herbert bird relation for oxygen, so Q oxygen. For biomass formation, uh, which occurs at rate mu, the biomass specific oxygen consumption rate equals minus 0.45 multiplied by mu, because 0.45 mole oxygen is consumed to produce one mole biomass according to the uh, uh, the biomass uh, uh, black box uh, reaction. In addition, there is oxygen consumption for PDO production at a biomass specific rate of minus 0 0.80 multiplied by QP. And finally, oxygen is consumed for maintenance at a rate six times the glucose maintenance rate of 0 0.005. This leads to the Herbert Perth rela distribution relation for oxygen where total consumed oxygen is used for growth, first term, product, the second term, and maintenance, the third term. Using the black box model reactions uh, in a similar way, you should now calculate yourself the herbert bird relations for Q carbon dioxide, Q ammonium, Q proton, Q water, and Q heat. And also reflect on and give the units of the parameters in all these herbert bird relations. Now, from the completed black box model, we can now calculate the process reaction, where the stoichiometric coefficients are the QI over QP ratios as shown and discussed before. As example, we calculate the economically most important ratio, mole glucose uh, consumed for one mole PDO, which is the first ratio QS over QP. Using the QP over mu function, and the herbert perth relation for substrate, it is easy to obtain the substrate coefficient in the process reaction, which is, as indicated, the ratio QS over QP. It is important to note that this ratio, which gives us the mole glucose consumed to produce one mole PDO, is only dependent on mu, which, of course, should not be surprising, because in our black box model, we only have one free variable. Uh, which we choose to be mu. Now, this ratio, substrate over PDO, has a minimum at mu optimum is 0 0.0245 hour minus 1, and the value is then 1.295 mole glucose per mole PDO. This value is basically higher than the value of 0.80, which we saw uh, in the herbert perth relation, because glucose is not only used for PDO, but is also used for growth and maintenance. This which makes this value higher than 0.80. It is also higher than the value of point, uh, 0 0.666 in the theoretical PDO reaction because we consume oxygen. The other stoichiometric ratios of the process reaction, uh, like uh, mu over QP, QN over QP, uh, etc., uh, also depend only on mu. And these mu functions are obtained by combining the relevant herbert bird relation with the QP mu function. Please calculate yourself the mu functions for all remaining coefficients of the process reaction. Also make graphical plots of each coefficient against mu, and so of the value of each coefficient against mu, and calculate the mu value where each coefficient is minimal because this is relevant for process design. Also compare each, co each of these coefficients with the uh, QP coefficient in the herbert bird relation, um, and with the stoichiometric coefficients of the theoretical PDO reaction, and try to understand why these are different. We can now summarize our complete black box PDO model. It consists of a hyperbolic substrate uptake relation a QP mu relation, and seven herbert bird relations. This model has only one free variable, which is mu. When you choose mu, uh, a value for mu, all other Q values and CS can be calculated from these equations. The coefficients of the process reaction, such as QS over QP, depend only on mu and are easily calculated from the seven 
Herbert-Bird relations and the QP mu function. The black box model shows that the consumed glucose per mole PDO is minimal at mu optimal is 0.0245 hour minus 1. It is logic, is economically logical to design the PDO process at this mu value, which we will do later this week. See you in the next unit.